Today I'll show you how to field strip your SVT-40 rifle. So as always, first remove the magazine, check that it is empty, pull back the slide, check the chamber, it is empty, nothing on the bolt face either, so now we know we have an unloaded firearm. The first step is to remove the dust cover, and here you have to be careful if you pull back the dust cover, you can here see the recoil spring, the end of the recoil spring, and it kind of hooks with that little end cap into the dust cover. And what is important here is that you'll put your thumb here while you lift the dust cover off. Otherwise the recoil spring will just use its energy of being detented and fly into this direction. And if it hits your hand, it can be quite uncomfortable. So we're gonna pull back the dust cover till the end. Put our thumb here so the recoil spring won't go anywhere and since there's a little tab on the dust cover in this position you'll be able to lift it off and I will slowly let the recoil spring rest on the end of the receiver here. And this is this uh, little notch that holds the recoil spring so you'll put your finger here lift it upwards and you can remove the dust cover. So now we're going to remove the recoil spring and for this we'll have to detent it slightly while pulling on this little joint here. So I'm going to detent it, pull and we can remove the recoil spring. Assembly, it's basically three parts. So it's this part here with this cap, this little joint and the spring itself. You won't have to further disassemble it for uh, basic field stripping. So we're going to put that aside. Now we'll have to remove the bolt. And for this, we're going to pull it backwards completely. And now what we can do by grabbing the charging handle, basically, tilt it nine, uh, 45 degrees towards yourself. And this way you can lift it out of its rail and remove it from the receiver. So what you do is basically put it at the end of the rail, tilt it this way, and you can lift it out. And it is a tilting bolt. So for uh, disassembling it into its two parts, you just lift the end, guide it forwards, and you can remove it. So now that we removed the bolt, we're going to put our attention towards the gas system. And for further disassembly here, you have to remove the cleaning rod. And there's this button, so you press this button, and you can remove the recoil spring. And what this does is it will allow you to remove this clip that holds together this uh, heat shield and the upper hand guard. And it has a button too. So you have to press this button and wiggle this round clip towards the end of the rifle. And this can be quite stiff. So detent that button and wiggle this clip. Okay, and since I have a sling on it, you won't have to remove the sling, but otherwise you can't really lift it over the front side post, but this is enough for basic field stripping, just putting it as far as it goes. And what this does is, now you can remove the heat shield, and it has this rail here, so you just lift it up and out of its, um, its place where it clips into. Now you can remove the upper hand guard by just pushing it forwards and lifting it off. And now we have the whole um, gas piston uh, uncovered. So what we're going to do is we're going to push on the gas piston uh, towards this direction. So it is in uh, two parts, kind of this guide and the piston itself. So you're going to push on the gas piston and gently release it. Now what you can further do is remove this guide and if you want to you can unscrew this adapter on the gas port for uh, further cleaning. This is also where you adjust uh, the gas, how much gas will go back into the system. So depending on the ammo or how dirty it is, you can increase uh, the gas coming through the gas port. So this is all there is um, when it comes to field stripping the rifle. As always, you want to clean your bolt, 
clean the bolt face, make sure the firing pin, which is spring-loaded, works as intended, clean the bolt, clean the gas piston, clean the barrel, and for this you can obviously use the included cleaning kit and the cleaning rod, which we removed earlier on. And after that, you want to reassemble the rifle, so we're going to start with the gas system again. We're going to grab our gas piston, including the spring here, and we're going to shove it into this hole under the front, uh, the rear side. Just rest it there for now. And you're going to grab this guide. First of all, I forgot, reinstall the gas port, just screw it in tightly. Okay, going to grab your guide, put it over the gas port. Now you're going to detent the gas piston because it's now under spring tension and put it into this guide here. So that's it for the gas system. Grab the upper hand guard, slide it into its place, grab the heat shield. And you're going to want to put it in like so. This is the little rail that will interact with the lower part. So slide it in and you can see this little tab here. So this is where the rail ends. Shove it in there, align it properly. And now you can use this retainer clip and you'll have to detent the button once again. This can be a bit fidgety. Wiggling always helps. Okay, and once it snaps in place, you will hear the button going into its original position and now this is holding everything together. There shouldn't be any parts moving or so. So now we're gonna put together the bolt. For this, you're gonna first align the front, pull it backwards until it hooks, so now it's not gonna fall out anymore. And what you're going to do is put it right at the end of the rail, so it falls into the rail on both sides. And this can be a bit tricky if it only hooks on one side, so make sure it's in properly. As we disassembled it, so you kind of put it on this side first, so if you look down the, the rifle, the left side hooks first, then you kind of drop it into the rail. Okay, so once you got that, you'll put back the recoil spring, so the cap will not go in first, but the end of the spring. Put it into the bolt and kind of hold it at this joint. Detent the rest of the spring, gently guide it into the hole. And now we're going to again rest it on the end of the receiver. <clears throat> You're going to grab the dust cover. You kind of just put it here at the end of the rail and what you want to do is detent the recoil spring further until it doesn't end uh, until it's fully compressed hook it into the dust cover and slightly carefully let it go and here be careful to not kind of uh, move your thumb so the recoil spring will hit your hand so now everything's put back together we're just going to add the guide rod uh, the cleaning rod into its place under the barrel, push the button and hear the click, so now it's completely stored. And what you're going to do is some function testing. For this, insert the magazine. And pull back on the bolt. It should hold open on the last round. Remove the magazine. What you can now do is let the bolt go forward. Uh, put on the safety of the rifle, so this is the safety, just physically blocking the trigger, so if I pull the trigger, it should not fire. Disengage the safety, point into a safe direction, and we should hear the action going off, so this sounds good. And this is all there is to it, to field stripping your SVT. Have fun.